There was never any doubt that Ernest H. Brooks II would be a photographer. His grandmother took portraits, his uncle was known for his landscapes, and his father, Ernest Brooks Sr., was a photographer who founded the prestigious Brooks Institute of Photography in Santa Barbara, California. By the time he was five years old, an age when most kids are still figuring out how to tie their shoes, Ernie Brooks had already sold his first photo. He became interested in underwater photography as a teen. In the middle of a three-mile swimming race off the coast of Santa Barbara, Ernie looked down and saw rays of light beaming through the kelp and illuminating the fish on the ocean floor. He was mesmerized. He lost the race, but gained a passion for light and shadow that would lead him to become known as the Ansel Adams of the sea. In 1949, Ernie made his first dive with an underwater housing he made from aluminum and began photographing the kelp. After a stint in the armed forces and more than a decade working with Jacques Cousteau, Ernie returned to his roots, joining the Brooks Institute as an instructor in 1960. On his boat, Just Love, Ernie sailed California's Channel Islands with his students, teaching them the intricacies of underwater photography, how to capture the grace and elegance of the underwater world Ernie quickly rose through the ranks at the Brooks Institute, becoming its president in 1971, a position he held for almost 30 years. Though Ernie is known for his spectacular black and white seascapes, he has also donated his time and talent to many nonprofit organizations dedicated to his other great loves, education and ocean conservation. When the Brooks Institute closed in 2016, Ernie donated the Jefferson campus with its stunning views of the Channel Islands as a permanent home for the Santa Barbara Middle School to inspire future generations of visual artists and ocean conservationists. Giving back is the most beautiful thing that we human beings can do. We seem to take all of our lives, all of these little things, but if you have something that's of value, give it back let it go. And that's why I feel so good about what's happened in my life with Santa Barbara Middle School. You know, to give you a campus, there's nothing better than that. Proceeds from his book, Silver Seas, a retrospective, were donated to the Ocean Futures Society. He has received numerous honors and awards over the years, including a Nogi, and was the first ever recipient of the Hans Haas Dive to Adventure Award. He is one of only 40 photographers admitted into the esteemed Camera Craftsmen of America group. Ernie, you have spent your career bringing the underwater world to life in beautiful black and white, while teaching others to develop their unique underwater visions. Through your photography, teaching, and ocean advocacy, you have inspired others to respect and protect our underwater world. We thank you. Congratulations on your Reaching Out Award, Ernie. Our sport, our industry, and our world are much more colorful because of you. <laughs>